Welcome back to the channel where we simplify technology for you. For this video, I will demonstrate how to use data validation in Google Sheets. Let's get started. We utilize data validation to eliminate incorrect data entry and for consistency of data and for faster data entry. Now, the steps to create a data validation. First, in an open email, in an open spreadsheet, select cell or cells to validate data. Second step, from the menu, click data, then data validation. A pop-up box will appear, and next to criteria, select a valid data for the cell or cells, and then click save. Let's give an example. For example, I have here two columns, gender and uh, club. Now, for example, in the gender, so it's male and female, so I will highlight all the cells, and then I'll click data, and then data validation. Now, from the criteria, I will select list of items. So I will type male, separated by comma, next is female without space. And then, I don't want to show the drop-down list in a cell, I'll just uncheck this one. And then to make sure that... Uh, no other entry is accepted, I will just select project input and then I'll click save. Now you will see if I type M, there will be male. And then if I type uh, F, there will be female. So all I need to do is press the return key and it is selected. Let's say I will type N. So and if I press enter, it will not be accepted because we have rejected uh, an item that is not on the list. Now, for example, here we want to put the list of clubs. So I have here a range of cells. So I have first step is to highlight the range of cells and then click data, then data validation. This time I will make use of list from range. Take note that I have used earlier list of items. And these are the things that we can uh, set for our cells. And then since I have now list from range, I will click this uh, select data range so I can select this range of cells, including blank ones. And then I will click OK. And then I want to show the drop-down list. So I'll retain the show drop-down list. And then I will also reject input. And then I can also show validation help text. And then I'll say, uh, please select from the range. Please select from the list. Okay. And then I'll click Save. Now we have a drop-down uh, list. So if I click the drop-down list, I have the club. If I click another drop-down list, I have I can choose the, for the rest of the rows. Now, if I add, for example, swimming club or, sw or swimming club, I don't have to remove the data validation because it's automatically included since I have selected the range of cells until row 11. That is how you use data validation in Google Sheets. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. Bye for now.